it's, it's very frustrating. Worst case scenario is when a rig like engine 13 gets taken out of service because the department can't afford to, uh, uh, to hire enough people for the day um, to staff a rig. When a rig like this is out of service, um, it puts, it puts uh, firefighters in danger, puts the public in danger. Local government aid's been a, a big part of, I think, a successful model in the state for a long time. And so cuts to LGA really affect the city's uh, bottom line directly. And we've had, we've had cuts over a number of years already to our, to our budgets for, for quite a while. So at this point, all cuts essentially are cutting people and cutting basic services. There's no extra fat lying around in our budgets these days. And we have the staff, so that we have super medics. Uh, so, you know, if, if, if we don't have local government aid, about 20% of our service is going to go away. Um, response times are going to go up. Um, people are going to die. We can't, we won't be able to get to that cardiac arrest within four minutes. If we were to hold police and fire harmless in a cut such as the one being proposed in the Senate right now, which would be about $15 million for us, that would be a 30% cut to all of our other departments, which would be uh, huge across the board cuts to hours of service and uh, hundreds of jobs. We're already bare bones. We're, um, most of our uh, budget, 90% uh, of it is, is on the street. And um, you, know, you start talking about a, 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 a 10 to 20% cut in a department. It's a fire department I don't even want to imagine.